Mosque, Akko. from the neighborhood of Abu Tor in Jerusalem. The tomb of a sheikh or sheikh, Kohav Yair, in the West Bank. An arch in Ashkelon which no longer stands. facade of a dental laboratory in Ashkelon. Tomb of Samuel the prophet outside of Jerusalem. Sad and Neve Tzedek, a neighborhood in Tel Aviv. Yona on the roof of the tomb of Samuel the prophet, Neve Samuel. An alley in Akko. The upper room on Mount Zion in Jerusalem, traditional site of the Last Supper, where a Byzantine church was built right over a mosque. Turkish bath in Akko, once the Crusader capital. Two towers, a lighthouse and a minaret in the port of Jaffa one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world. Architecture, either in its construction or its destruction, is often mixed with triumphalism. This is the ruins of the Herva Synagogue after falling to the Jordanian legionnaires in the War of 1948. They blew it up after gaining possession of the old city. The temporary reconstruction designed by the architect Moshe Safdi has an arch in the place of the original dome, but there are plans to reconstruct the entire synagogue. A marble column from the period of Roman occupation, Old City, Jerusalem. an alley in the old city. Sarcophagus, Roman period, Ashkelon. For the first six years of our project, from 1992 until 97, our technique was to transfer my photographs onto large sheets of specialty rice paper, some with gold or silver fleck, by putting them through large industrial photocopy machines, which use iron oxide toner, which is extremely stable, and then Yona would work over the black and white image in oil pastels. Those were three from Old Jaffa. Arab Quarter, Old City, Jerusalem. The blue paint over the door indicates that they have made the Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca. We went back to Israel in the spring of 2001 after living in the United States for three years and we returned to the neighborhood where we met, Ein Karim, outside of Jerusalem. The 
the rooftops of the old city Jerusalem from Or HaChaim Street. Interior of the Dome of the Rock. These are the ornaments from previous centuries which top the Dome of the Rock or top the Temple Mount. They resemble giant chess pieces, so we call it Temple Mount Endgame. Interior, Jewish Quarter, Old City, Jerusalem. Since the dawn of the 21st century, we have changed our technique slightly and we've entered the digital age. I'm transferring the black and white photos onto cotton rag paper using pigmented inks through digital printers. And Yona has been using oil pastels or water-based oils. We've been returning to Israel on an annual basis, and on our last trip, we explored the area of Neve Tzedek, which was one of the earliest neighborhoods in Tel Aviv. We love the throwaway culture of the Mediterranean, like the wall plaque of the skeletal charioteer. A grotto with Aphrodite and Cupid. Nebet Tzedek was once a Yemenite district, and in the Middle East, painting the door blue is thought to keep out the evil eye. We found what we can only describe as a blue Christmas tree in the alley, and when we went back a year later, it was still there. This kiosk near Allenby Street in Tel Aviv used to be a typewriter repair workshop. I don't know what it is now. A man used to sit a block away with a little table and an old typewriter typing whatever you needed for a couple of shekels. This painting is seven feet or two meters long and it's Schluss Street, an entire block, which is one building patched together. 